Yeah, hi guys, Peter back for yet another video. This is for Robert. He asked for another Rolling Stones related video. Hi Robert. Uh, two Stones albums from the late 60s. 1968's Beggar's Banquet. In this album, all we'll be going up against uh, the Rolling Stones Let It Bleed. Now, these are two al the first two albums from what people refer to as the classic four albums. After that, there was um, Sticky Fingers and Next Shire Main Street, like the the big four, as I say, for the Rolling Stones. Um, I do like these albums quite a bit. I prefer Sticky Fingers at Exile to these, though, to be honest. But I do like these are quite are quite a bit. So this should be interesting. Um, we will go now. We'll talk a bit about Beggar's Banquet. Here's the back of it, and if you wanted to see Beggar's Banquet and Let It Bleed, which recently got the fifty um, oh, a while back, I think fifty years anniversary. Uh, has has got that treatment, as has this one, the 50th anniversary passed a while back. So there you go, guys. So um, let's talk about a bit about um, Beggar's Banquet. Starts off that with that iconic song, uh, simply, simply sympathy for the devil, <laughs> sympathy for the devil. Um, yeah, classic song. Um, I really like the song. I don't think it's my favourite even on this album, but I do like the song. It sort of builds, it's got that build, it's got great uh, lyrics I'm not, uh, in the song. It builds up quite a bit. Um, yeah, I'd say probably equal with another song on this album for, for my favourite, probably, yeah. So I do like that. It's a classic song, really good. I really do like No Expectations, the next one, especially his vocal on it, uh, uh, the slow blues number, I really like that. D Doctor is a bit of a, in a way, in a... It's a, just a, not to be taken too seriously. It's one of those songs he does a mock voice in it of a woman, and you can hear it in the song. So that's um, that's a bouncy little tune. Parachute Woman, I quite like. It's got a good rhythm to it. I really like Jigsaw Puzzle. That's really good. Uh, Street Fighting Man. Uh, yeah, that was a big big song like that. Um, I've got a thing for Prodigal Son as well. Really like that. Um, a little acoustic thing, really nice. Stray Cat Blues is a, a good rocker, a good tune. Factory Girl, similar to Prodigal Son. And Salt of the Earth is one of my favourites. I think that's a great song with Sympathy for the Devil. A great first song and last song there. So that's a real good one. Um, this one, Give Me Shelter, Think Staff. I like the song Give Me Shelter. Uh, a lot of people like it more than me, but I do like it. Um, and we got Love in Vain, Slow Blues, like No Expectations, uh, pretty good. Uh, Country Honk doesn't really do it for me. It's like a another version of Honky Tonk Women. I would prefer Honky Tonk Women much, much more than that. Uh, Live With Me, it's a good basic rocker. Uh, it only gets to the very good stage with me, it doesn't get to the great stage. It's one of those things. Then uh, Let It Bleed, like this one. L lyrics are a bit uh, controversial, but the, the song itself is very catchy. So I like uh, Let It Bleed, the title track. Midnight Rambler, it drags for me. Never been much big on Midnight Rambler. It's okay sometimes, I like don't mind hearing it. But I do like Keith's You Got the Silver, him singing on that. It's quite a nice, uh, pleasant tune. Uh, Monkey Man, quite, rather good. And then um, You Can't Always Get You What You Want, which is a great song to finish things, so. But, I mean, it's sort of too hard a decision for me, this one, but um, I'm gonna go with Beggar's Banquet is better for me. Yeah, I just, I feel it's a bit more together than this album, although oh, this album, Let It Bleed, is considered by many as their best. Not by me, but by many. So is this one considered their best by many? For me, uh, I, I'm more, um, it's out of Sticky Fingers, Exile on Main Street. I, uh, I think Exile on Main Street being my favourite album. But this, this I think, is... I'll take, I'll take Beggar's Banquet over Let It Bleed. But great moments on Let It Bleed. Just for me, doesn't quite, from top to bottom, match this. Although this there are better albums for me than even this. But um, 
I just think it's a bit more together than Let It Bleed, but I'm going to go for Beggar's Banquet. There you. there you go, Robert and everyone else. Hope you enjoyed it. Let me know down below what you think. And I will, I have done a Stones ranking, but I will do an update at some point. And I wanted to get to other bands' rankings I haven't done. I uh, just did the Zeppelin uh, ranking, if you want to have a look at that, uh, an update. And I want to do bands I haven't done um, um, rankings as well. There you go, everybody. Hope you enjoyed it. I'll have a live stream tomorrow morning, my time at 10 a.m. Sydney time. I've already uh, made a, co uh, a comment about it yeah, in the community on the um, YouTube. So there it is there. And I'll see you again very soon for the next video. Bye.